Okay, hi. Um, it's Tuesday afternoon here on the East Coast. Um, this little video is uh, a little late this week. I apologize for that, but um, let's get right to it. And a little bit about last week and a little bit about this week. Um, the common theme that links both weeks, frankly, is the notion that um, we don't know uh, what the future holds and that uncertainty always creates some risk so whether we're speaking about last week's materials and uh, taking on loans and debt uh, in order to help your organization grow or whether we're talking about investments and preserving your organization's wealth its assets um, both of those um, uh, activities, borrowing and investing, uh, have, amount, have a certain amount of uncertainty and risk to them because uh, future events uh, are unknown to us and not always predictable 100% of the time. Um, so the main thing about both taking on debt and about making investments is that you want to be prudent and you don't want to make uh, rash decisions either in uh, borrowing too much or investing in too risky um, an investment where your principal uh, is lost. Um, so, you know, that's in a nutshell how the two weeks come together. Um, I was uh, well, curious, interested, uh, pleased to see that a number of you commented about uh, the quick analysis materials in last week's readings. Um, I just think it, it's a nice uh, way to think about um, uncertainty and to think about uh, how much risk you're really willing to take uh, when you try to swing for the fences and try to get the home run. Um, and this week, the only thing I'll add to what's in, already in the materials is um, the notion that if you do not understand uh, the investment that you're being advised to make or uh, are making yourself, uh, don't make it. Um, here in the Northeast, um, where the uh, Madoff scandal uh, originated, um, that's a lesson that we've uh, taken to heart, that if we don't understand the investment, don't do it because uh, it may be a scam uh, or it may just be so complicated that um, you know too many moving parts can go wrong but, you know I'm, I was thinking in preparing for this uh, video about how hedge funds were the rage a couple of years back and yes they were getting returns that were outsized compared to uh, what the stock normal stock market was returning um, but as you may know, in the last couple of years, a lot of hedge funds have gone under. A lot of hedge funds are underperforming the market. And so, um, again, just uh, take prudent risks. Um, don't do anything crazy. <laughs> uh, that's a very uh, professional and scientific term for um, uh, being prudent. Okay. Um, the other thing about this week's materials is that there's a really good uh, case study that we'll be uh, reading and discussing in Discussion Forum 2. It's about Terry Lunt and a nonprofit in the Boston area that uh, I thought I was going to sneeze there um, that she becomes the executive director of um, and then she finds all of a sudden that the uh, nonprofit is not as on good solid footing as she thought when she took the position. So um, it's just a chance for us to put together some of the different themes of the course and try to apply them to an actual case study, uh, which in fact um, uh, recounts a real story. Um, and to see uh, how good we are at thinking about and dissecting the problems and thinking about possible solutions. Okay, I'll leave it there. Um, 
and I'll talk to you online. Okay, thanks.